I want to show you some of my favorite straw tricks. Um, the first one I call the do-it-yourself water fountain stunt, and I learned it from an eight-year-old girl. Uh, she didn't teach it to me. I saw her doing it to her mother. Uh, I was sitting in a coffee shop in Massachusetts, and I was having kind of a dismal day, and I was sitting there sipping my coffee and looking out the window, and I, uh, all of a sudden I heard this interaction between a mother and a daughter, and the mother was saying, no, what are you doing? And the, uh, you're doing that thing you always do, and all of a sudden I saw water shoot through the air at the mom, and she was all flustered, and water was going everywhere, and I, and I realized the, water, the, the girl was shooting water out of a cup with a straw. And so I'm going to actually show you the stunt and tell you what happened to me. So she had this cup like this. She had the straw inside it like that. And I need a place to shoot the water, so I'll put it right here. And the girl was doing this right like this. She was <gasps> it's a great trick. And uh, so I, I was so excited when I saw this. I thought, that is the best stunt I've ever seen. I mean, I was 20 years old. I don't know. I, I just thought, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I hadn't seen maybe that many stunts. But I went home, and I, uh, I, I told my housemates. I was living with a couple of guys. And I said, you guys, you've got to see this trick. I just learned this great trick. And uh, they said, well, let me see it. I said, you shoot, take a glass of water and a straw, and you can shoot water right out of the glass. And I, they said, all right, demonstrate it. And so I put my mouth up to the cup, and I went like this. <coughs> and absolutely nothing happened. And they said, why don't you try blowing harder? And I blew harder. <coughs> and you know, I, I mean, I, I totally didn't understand how the stunt worked. And I thought I did. And I, so what I did was, they, they all dismissed me and said, man, that stunt doesn't even work. And what do you, you shouldn't try to show us a stunt that doesn't work. And I, so I went into the bathroom, which is the best place to experiment. And I uh, shut the door. And I, was, and I got to thinking about the stunt. Like, what makes this stunt work? And, I, and then I, ha I, I realized suddenly, the air, no air can escape for the stunt to work. And if you blow and the air escapes, then that won't make the stunt work. So I grabbed. This cup right here, which was the cup I used to rinse my mouth out after I brushed my teeth. And I realized this stunt will work with this cup. I put my face up to it and I blew. <gasps> That's what has to happen. It ha the air has to not have a place to go. So you blow. You blow into the cup. The air has nowhere to go because you've made this perfect seal. You push against the water. The water has nowhere to go, so it goes out the straw. So I was completely excited. And then what I did, instead of showing my housemates, I took a magic marker and a piece of paper, and I wrote the stunt up. And it was the first stunt that I wrote up, and the first of about 1,000 that I uh, began collecting. And I got very excited. Now, about a week went by before, um, as I was rejoicing over this stunt. And I was, af after about a week, I was thinking, like, when am I going to see a stunt that good again? And I went back to the same diner, and I was hanging out drinking a cup of coffee, and I heard another stunt that was fantastic. I heard this stunt right here. I, uh, I was, I, I didn't, again, I didn't see it. I didn't even know what the sound was that was going on, but it sounded like this. I, I walked around the diner, I walked around the corner, and I, and I saw these people at this table making this sound. And all that they were doing is they had the straw sticking in a glass of water, and they were blowing on the straw. And, and I, so I went home, and I thought, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure out that stunt. It didn't look very hard. And here's what happened to me, and this is what will happen to you, too. This is just what people do when they do this stunt. I put the straw in the water, and I blew like this, and it went That's just what happens when people try the stunt. And I experimented for, I don't know, for about a half an hour. And I realized that the secret to the stunt is, in fact, quite basic. But you take a straw, you stick it in the water, just about half an inch. Hold it down near the bottom like that. And then you place it in the water. You suck water into the straw. You pinch the straw quickly. You blow across the top of the straw, letting go of the water, letting go of the straw. 
And it has to happen quite quickly or it won't work. But this is the sequence. So you put the straw in the water, you suck, pinch, and blow. And there you have one of the great stunts of all time. It's especially nice because if you do it right, you fill the straw really full of water. The water atomizes over the top and sprays a thin mist of water on all people that are nearby, making it an extra great stunt. Well, what I always say when I do uh, straw stunts or any stunts is that they're all connected. You pull up one stunt, there's another one waiting there close by. And a stunt that uh, was done to me when I was uh, little, when I used to have dinner at a friend's house, um, uh, my friend would do this straw trick to me. He would take a straw and he would put it in a glass of water uh, near me when we would sit down for dinner and he would cover me with a, a thin mist of water and it looked like this. And for the life of me, I had no idea what he was doing because he just looked like he had a straw in his hand and he was holding on to it like this. There was nothing mysterious about it. And for years, I tried to blow, to stick a, a straw in water and to blow water out the straw so it would hit people. And I could never do it because I didn't understand the very, the reason the stunt works at all, which is there's a little tiny hole in the straw. You see, really, really small, but you wouldn't, wouldn't really notice a tiny hole in a straw. You don't think it's going to be there unless you're a really, really paranoid kind of person. So you, you don't see the hole in the straw, but the whole secret to the stunt put your finger over this tiny hole to put the straw in a glass of water, suck water into the straw, pinch the straw, and then blow after removing your finger from the straw. A beautiful, which will look like this. Now, a beautiful thing about this stunt is that you're not limited by the capacity of the straw for the amount of water you're going to shoot. You're limited by the amount of water you can put into your mouth. So if you put a lot of water into your mouth, you can shoot a lot of water. And I really like that, as I'm sure you do too. Uh, so those are three of my favorite straw stunts. And actually, I will show more uh, in the near future. Thank you.